Hi, my name is Kristen and I'm Market Manager at Pulsar. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Krypton 2 FXG50 Thermal Imaging Front Detachment from A to Z, or more precisely, from the first glance of the product to zeroing. Let's start with what you will find in the box once you receive your Krypton. First, of course, the device itself, which also always comes with the Bluetooth remote control. If you get the XG version, you will also get a Pulsar monocular. If you settled on FXG, monocular will not be included. Let's quickly discuss the key features that make this new front attachment to stand out compared to the previous version. Sensor. Even though the resolution is the same, Krypton 2 XG50 became much more sensitive since we've changed the supplier to European-made producer Linred. This also allowed us to introduce you to a more informative image with eight color palettes. Lens. Now, the new lens is faster and more permeable, able to capture more heat signals, thus rendering a more informative image. You'll also notice that we have changed the battery placement. Now, laying on the top of the device, it helps to achieve better balance. Powering Krypton up to 11 hours, it's also interchangeable. So if you feel like you'll need more time You can buy a spare battery and swap it easily while out in the field. Krypton 2 also comes with new, unique firmware features. It now features a scalable, adaptive menu. In practice, this means that no matter what's the base make of your scope or how much you zoom in, you will still get to see the full menu or status bar. Finally, Krypton 2 is even more precise as we've added the zeroing option, the possibility to create multiple zeroing profiles and improved attachment alignment. Since Krypton is a clip-on, the process of mounting it is incredibly important. Attaching it to both, to a monocular and a daytime rifle scope, is incredibly easy, but you have to select the right adapter. Krypton's adapters feature a bayonet connection. Plus, it comes with four different sizes, to match your preferred daytime optics. Once you mount the adapter on your daytime optics, you can leave it there and detach Krypton super easily. This allows for the use of the attachment with different daytime scopes. Just take care of the right adapters respectively. While it's not that difficult, this process has one nuance that should make this task a little easier. All the inserts have a small gap in them. So put that part first and push it till the end to get the adapter on the scope much more easily. Now, simply lock the adapter in place with a designated lever and you're done. One more thing to mention. To make things easier, I recommend unscrewing the adapter screw slightly, just to loosen it up a bit. Then install the adapter and tighten it back again. Once you've installed the adapter on the rifle scope, you need to make sure it's properly centered. We'll get into more details soon. Now that we have the adapter on, putting the front attachment on and off is easy. Have a look. Okay, it's time to come to the good part, using the device. Krypton has four buttons, on, off, menu, up and down. When the clip-on is off and you press the on-off button, it turns on. If you press it again for three seconds, Krypton will power off. But if you long press it for less than three seconds, only the display turns off. You can turn it back on with a quick press on the same button. As for the menu button, its main purpose is to, well, Open the menu, long press it for three seconds and you're done. Quick press confirms the selection, while long press while in the menu exits it. The up and down buttons, as you probably guessed, are designed to navigate through the menu. The up button is also responsible for photo and video recording. Short press the down button to change amplification levels and with a long press you can resize the interface. 
It sounds like a lot, but you get used to it over time. Remember, I mentioned the adaptive menu slightly earlier? Now it's time to see why that's important. For this video, I chose a rifle scope that's optimal for use with Krypton 2. But there is a good chance that your rifle scope will be different and vary in zoom or base magnification. As you see, when I change the magnification of the daytime scope, I start losing some of the menu parts. So to mitigate that, use the adaptive menu feature to shrink the UI elements and gather them in the center of the screen. This is a good time to bring the Bluetooth remote control into play. It mimics the Krypton's buttons and you can put it wherever you want, thus making the operation of your attachment much more convenient. Here you have the controller that you can click. This works as the menu button, while rotating is for navigating. The on-off button is the same as it is on the device. The button in the middle is for photo and video recording. You can use the lower button to change the amplification levels and if you long press it, you can resize the interface. It's time to make sure that my Krypton is mounted straight. Long press the menu button to open the main menu and go to the display alignment section. After entering it, you'll see an auxiliary cross appear on the screen. Our goal is for the reticle to align with a cross. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to release the screw on the adapter Straighten it and tighten the screw. Now the alignment should be perfect. Technically, my Krypton is now ready to use. But I do like to be even more precise, so I'm going to zero it to have that extra edge. On Krypton 2, you can have three zeroing profiles, which means you can use Krypton with as many different guns or rifle scopes. To adjust your point of impact, open up General Settings, and scroll down to Display Position Calibration and open it up. Select a profile and fire a test shot. If you feel like corrections are needed, go back to the menu item calibrating the display position. Now, via the calibration of the position item, you can adjust the point of impact. One click changes it by 15 mm at 100 m. Now, save the settings and fire another test shot to see if you're happy with the results. Let's see our target and zeroing results from up closer. As you can see, the first shot was slightly low. But after zeroing in, it's basically perfect. To quickly sum up, the Krypton 2 FXG50 is significantly upgraded thermal imaging front attachment with a new sensor, faster optics, improved batteries, multiple color palettes and great firmware. Not to mention the superb adaptive menu. I really hope that this video made things more clear for you. Do check this awesome device out and I hope to see you soon in the field or forest.